Um, who was in Linda Rising's talk on estimation and deception? All right, so none of overlapping audiences. That's fine too, because none of this is going to be already familiar uh, to you. I'm um, just uh, two words about who I am. Uh, I'm a freelance consultant. Uh, I'm interested. I used to be a programmer, so I know a little bit about tech stuff. Uh, nowadays, I'm into consulting which means I'm also interested in the dark side, consulting and management and all that. Who's a programmer? Who's not a programmer? Interesting. So let's talk after. I want to know wh what you're interested in <laughs> in this topic. But uh, for everyone else, uh, I think we should be on the same wavelength of what design means. But uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. So practices. That's the uh, essential uh, point of this talk. Now, you know, shape of the S, that's a good transition into uh, another S-shaped thing, money, value. What, um, what am I hoping that you're going to get from this talk? Um, um, my intention is that you come away from this talk with a better sense of why, in Agile, uh, design is approached the way it is. Why, what is the relationship between things like pair programming and test-driven development? Is it coincidence that there are those two things in, say, extreme programming uh, and refactoring? Did they happen to be thrown into a pot and stirred? Or is there a deeper relationship? So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Uh, I would like you to come away from this session with renewed enthusiasm for doing some practices that you have been maybe doing, but not quite as much as uh, you should or you think you should. Uh, who's, who's doing test-driven development? OK. <laughs> So, so there's some margin, right? Uh, and uh, who's who's writing unit tests? Okay, we didn't <laughs> raise that before. <laughs> anyway, just a joke. Um, I hope that you can also, for those of you who are already doing test-driven development, so the others will be uh, convinced to try it because they have a better understanding of how.